We have to remember that we're trying to create sweetness uh, for Krishna and his devotees. Uh, and anyone who is fortunate, fortunate enough to hear uh, the kirtan. So uh, there are some uh, rules or etiquette that need to be taken into consideration. Very important. If you're conscious of these things, um, then there'll be no problem. You know, like it may take some time to learn the rhythms, etc. But if you, you keep these, this etiquette in mind, then your addition to the kirtan will be very nice. There's a nice list on kksongs.org, which you can find in the description below. But I'll touch upon some of the most important. We must always remember that we are serving the kirtan, not showing off our talent. If this mood of service is there, everything else will follow in the due course of time. So we want to support the kirtan and add sweetness in the best way we can without taking away focus from the chanting itself. Obviously chanting is the most important thing in a kirtan. So this means we should try to be conscious of the mood the lead singer is trying to establish and adjust our playing accordingly as the kirtan develops. We especially don't want to drown out the singer by playing too loudly. We'll discuss this more shortly. Later in the course we'll cover decorations and so on, but even these should be used in accordance with the mood of kirtan. It's not just a case of look what I can do. Similarly, we should be very aware of the tempo and only speed up or slow down when the main singer indicates that that is what they want. This requires practice and experience in kirtan, which we will cover more later. If your mood to serve the kirtan is there though, these things will come with experience, no problem. So the mood's the most important thing. When a kirtan starts, listen carefully to one maha mantra so you can establish the tempo in yourself and whether the rhythmic cycle is four or three beats, or even another more rare cycle. <clears throat> Often the singer will indicate, but over time, with practice, you can usually feel it by tapping your toes or clapping softly. If the singer uses a rhythm that you're unable to play for, maybe it sounds a little unfamiliar, you can either let someone else play, or just mark the main beat softly with the kartals. Hopefully after this course though, you'll be, be able to accompany the majority of kirtans. No problem. I would say one of the most important, yet often neglected rules, is that playing too loud is never a good thing. Kartals are meant to support the kirtan rhythmically, but they are not where the focus should be. Often, new kartal players will get a bit excited, uh, I, I've been there, I know, and they play too loudly, and it often creates a very harsh and deafening sound. It's not sweet at all, and is very disturbing to everybody else. So avoid playing too loudly, or hitting the kartals too hard. This can be very painful. Even when you're playing fast, if you practice enough, you can play gently in a way that the singer and the other kirtaniers can focus on the rhythm nicely and everybody can focus on the holy name. Another problem of playing the kartals too loudly and harshly, aside from distracting chanters from the holy name and unfortunately compelling some to move away from the kirtan so as to protect their ears, is that it can have serious effect on your ears and the ears of those around you. Many devotees have hearing problems as a result of prolonged exposure to the hard and loud banging of kartals. So play as softly and sweetly as possible while remaining audible. Similarly, don't have too many kartal players in one kirtan as the sound will overpower the chanting, which defeats the purpose of the kirtan. So these are some of the most important points uh, that I felt we should touch on for the purpose of this course, but please feel free to add any other items of etiquette you think are important in cartel playing in the comments below, or send me a message. Uh, and if there's enough, maybe I can make part two uh, to this video so that we can uh, share the different things that will help make our cartel playing more sweet. Hare Krishna.